When calculating the area of a triangle, you must use the base and the height that form a right angle. So in this picture, there's only one place where we see two segments that form a right angle. And if we're calculating the area of the entire triangle, then we have to use the entire length of the base, 73 meters, as our base length. If we only used 22 meters, then we would only be calculating the triangle with a base of 22 and a height of 10. So if we used 22 meters, we would be calculating the triangle in red. But we want to find the area of the entire shaded triangle, so we have to use the length of the entire base along with a segment that forms a right angle. So a right angle has that symbol. That means that's what you're looking for when you determine your base and your height. So here our area would be equal to 1 half times 73 times 10. Aiden calculated the area of this triangle, QRS, by finding half the product of 1.5 and 1.1. Well, does 1.5 and 1.1 represent two segments that form a right angle? Let's look. Here's 1.5 and here's 1.1. They come together right here, making that angle right there. Is that a right angle? No. Therefore, that is not the correct segments to use to calculate the area because you have to use a base and a height that form a right angle and a right angle will be noted with this symbol or they could tell you it's a right triangle and we know that a right triangle makes a perfect corner it's exactly 90 degrees so here we can see that right angle symbol right here where they're using 1.1 so what does that right angle symbol touch that we could use as the base. If we just use this side, we wouldn't be calculating the, the area of the entire triangle. And he does want to calculate the area of the entire triangle, QRS. So we have to use the entire length of the base. So that means we need to add 4.5 plus 0 0.9. To get the entire length of the base of triangle QRS. So Aiden did not use the correct base length. The correct base length should be 5.4 with a height of 1.1 because those are the two segments that form a right angle. Jackie cut a piece of paper along its diagonal, creating two triangles. So here we have triangle one, and here we have triangle two. How do the height and base length of the two triangles compare to the height and base length of the original piece of paper? So if we think about the original piece of paper, the diagonal is not our height or our base because again, our height and our base have to form a right angle. So we see a right angle here. This was a right angle, but they cut that with the diagonal. So let's go up here. That's also a right angle. So there's the right angle that I would be using to calculate the area of each triangle because here's a base. And here's a height because it makes this right angle. And here's a base and here's a height. 
and it makes this right angle. And as, and as we notice, that's the same base and the height of the piece of paper. So this is why if you were just calculating the area of this entire rectangular sheet of paper, we could also call base and height length and width. It's the same thing. So the base and the height of the two triangles are the same as the length and the width of the entire rectangle, but that's the difference between the area of a rectangle, length times width, or base times height in this picture, but the area of the triangle is half base times height because there are two halves. You've cut the rectangle in half. So how do the height and base length of the two triangles compare to the height and base length of the original piece of the paper? They're equal.